Hello, and this is going to be my <coughs> Jeez, Luis. This is going to be my tutorial video on how to create custom sounds for uh, TFAR. Now, it's going to be limited. Uh, I do I did need to make some modifications because there's some private information I didn't want to show in this video. So, uh, any extra information that needs to be part of the video, I'm just going to put either in the description or on the screen itself in post and editing. Now you'll need three programs to do this properly. Well, you won't need some of them. Some of them are uh, optional, but they do make the process easier. You'll need Audacity, which comes free. Uh, so let me just get that open, actually. Uh, what did I put out? There it is. Sorry, I just woke up. Uh, you'll need Audacity, and it is recommended that you get media info which is a another free app uh, you don't even really need to have it open because it runs in the sidelines like this so it's like like there and also it's not required but it makes it easier editing software so in my case I prefer to use Sony Vegas which I use for my videos but that is mostly just for editing down clips so um, you'll need a, um, after that, it, you basically just need to find a clip you like. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, let me see. I'll use my uh, music folder for the ones I used for mine. I just got to find it and open it. Sorry. Here it is. So basically, it's easy enough, right? Now, the problem is, is that TFAR tends to have a little, be a little bit, is a bit judgmental. You'll need to make sure that the clip has a sample rate of, actually here, there's a better way to show you this. I can just show you the clip itself. If I just grab the media, so go to, you can see this if you go to local end select the clip media info and it needs to be 48 kilohertz 16 bit and stereo um, if it doesn't have any of these it won't work mind you this is only something I figured out yesterday so there may be a weird reason why it does not work it's just another reason why you should have media um, fuck I already <laughs> the name sorry uh, media info so but and if you don't have, if you have a clip, and you want to make it like this, uh, simply grab it and put it into Audacity, like so. So easy enough. But sorry, it's very loud. Make sure the project rate is within 4800, right here. And if it's two stereo, there's it should be two wavelengths here, not one. So you'd want to put the same file down twice, basically, and then. Go to, uh, I believe it's, nope, that's not it. And make stereo track right here. Just right click on it. And as for exporting it, you want to go to export, export as well. Oh, it also needs to be a WAV. Make sure it's a WAV. MP3s won't work. So you want to go to, uh, and then it already encodes a 16 bit PCM. So that's pretty easy. Now, once all that is done, you just need to put that into the file. Now, it's a bit of a pain in the butt because they're all named the same. So you want to make sure that before you put it in, you mark which ones that are going to be in which file. The AB and LR are both the same thing, basically. I don't know what the AB is. It's I know it's a distinct difference in long range radios, but for myself, I just changed out both the AB and LR for my long range radios because I didn't really care about that but we can begin with. But I'm not going to judge. I believe AB is for vehicles and LR is for just standard long range. I don't know. But as for SW, well, it speaks for itself. Short range radio. Now, uh, on and off is basically the sound you know you hear when you start the um, TFAR, when you go in at the beginning of the mission. Now, once all this is done, once you selected and made sure all these are here in the correct folder, all you need to do is start up TFAR. Well, start up TeamSpeak, first of all, uh, and make sure that you reload your TFAR. Now, this may take some troubleshooting. Uh, 
this is still kind of a new process for myself and uh, Lou, who helped me out. Uh, so feel free to ask questions. So if there's any issue, I don't know if there's a time limit to the amount of um, time it takes for a sound clip to play, or if there's like a, sa uh, a volume limit. Either way, uh, I tried these last night and they seem to work fine. So we'll just go into ARM and give it a quick Connected. test and show you how it works. So. Now, if you've played your cards right, which I suppose you have, if not, then I've failed in this video, uh, you should hear some sound, some differences in sounds depending on which ones that you uploaded like. So, let me just load into the server and we can give that a test. Channel switched. Er, see, it worked. Now, also a quick note, I don't know if it's a difference in sound when it comes to the T4 activation sound, because right off the bat, mine worked. So it may work with MP3s, it may work with WAV. I didn't notice a difference, but I have also haven't checked the files. So just assume that it's the same audio sounds as the uh, ones for the radio sounds themselves. Speaking of which, let's do those a quick test. So I'll grab a long range. Basically, if you upload it, so let's, there's my short range, the quad tone. Also, I got rid of the unkey noise because, for one, it annoys me, but if you remove a noise, it won't break too far if you don't have that noise. So, I can basically transmit and not transmit. It doesn't seem to be causing any issues. Now, let's give this one a try. So, long range works as well. So, I hope this video has been very informative to you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to leave a comment. If you know me personally, just go ahead and shoot me a Discord message or um, message me on the forums of, my, of the website fkgaming.eu. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Adios.